The year is 2012 in a now defunct little hotspot in NYC named Anchor Bar. At this little gathering, Trip is in attendance, fresh off a Nantucket summer, beaming with pride and confidence. In a natural fashion, Trip was there in body, but George was coming in hot to the night. Now I can partially recall this group of all very beautiful girls at the bar, but for Trip, he had an eye already set on one that was standing out more than the others. Trip turns to my friend Mark Sherman, who had teamed up as his designated windman for the night, uh, and says something to the effect of, see that tall one over there? She's the most beautiful one in here. I'm going up there and I'm going after her, and I know she's gonna be mine. No questions asked, without hesitation, he waltzes up to the bar, introduces himself, engages in conversation. They hit it off immediately. I, George, take you, Robin, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Robin, take you, George, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. You may share a kiss with each other. Today my life has been enriched and blessed because I have a daughter and I have a son. To be able to uh, commit your love to each other in front of family and friends the way that you have done today and the care that you have put into making sure that everybody who's here today is having a good day and in participates in the joy that your love has brought into your lives. I'm thrilled that my best friend found someone who will love her as much as Tripp does. Um, in between traveling the world together, working hard to establish a foundation for their future, and also still maintaining their cute, quirky relationship filled with an entire vocabulary of made up words. <laughs> um, given all of this, I really think that the two of them will make wonderful partners. And I'm honored that you asked me to be a part of your special day. Trip, your courage, confidence, eternal optimism, and persistence have served you well in life so far. Continue to be who you are. You're my youngest brother, and I truly do admire you. Congratulations to both of you on your marriage together. Now, the only thing that makes a man like Tripp that much more powerful is an equally, if not more strong and intelligent and confident and beautiful woman by his side. His perfect, perfect match is what he found in Robin. Love each other faithfully and keep trust always in sight. Listen to each other patiently, but remember, Robin's always right. May your cups overflow and your troubles be far and few. And may your love continue to grow from the moment that you said, I do.